Good morning, brothers and sisters. What a wonderful, what a wonderful time we're having in the Lord Jesus. The week has been far spent. <laughs> Die week het gauw voorbij gegaan. Dis al reeds woensdag vandag. Kom ons gee die Heere al die eer volgen. Let's give him all the honor and all the glory because he deserves that. I want to pray this morning, especially for all the ministers in the gospel. I just feel like praying for their families, their wives, and your children. I want to pray this morning as God's servant. I feel inspired to pray for all those men of God. And I want to ask all the prayer warriors, all the prayer warriors, please pray with me this morning. Just pray with me this morning for all God's servants. You know, there are some out there they don't even have the finance to go out and minister the gospel. You remember I said yesterday morning that people ask me, said, Brother Nikki, how are you and your dad going to make it? Because the way that you are traveling and preaching the gospel and the fuel prices is jumping like they are jumping now, how will you continue to do the work of the Lord? I want to encourage a minister of the gospel today. The fuel in your car is not your problem. That is God's problem. The petrol that you nodig het om die evangelie te preek is nie jou probleem. That is God's problem. The reason why we stress when we look at the gauge and we look at the fuel prices is because we we want to do our own thing. If you are completely dedicated into the work of God, if you are completely given over to the kingdom of God and you believe that God has called you to be a minister of the gospel, you don't have to go out and beg for money to do the, the work of the Lord and try to raise money and try to do things to attract people. I say this by example and also by humility and also with due respect to all our ministers. I have seen the hand of God over these years. Let him allow God to fill your tank. Allow God to provide for you. Allow God, hallelujah, to do what he needs to do. God will raise up people to support the work of the Lord. You don't have to do anything smart. Try to attract the attention of people. Just remain humble. Remain as humble as possible and stay in your position as a minister of the gospel. And while you're in your calling, God is obligated to provide and to bless and to make sure that you don't go without any. I want the prayer warriors to pray with me. Heavenly Father, this morning, I feel so burdened. Lord, your, your, your servants, the fivefold ministry is so heavy upon my heart today. Lord, I am also a servant of God. I believe that you have called me many years ago. And Father, this morning, I want to pray with all the prayer warriors. There are men out there. I know, Lord, they don't even have a second pair of shoes. They don't even have a second jacket to wear. 
They don't even have a proper vehicle to travel. Lord Jesus, creator of heaven and earth, today as a group on this devotion, we want to pray as we want to unite in prayer for all your servants. Lord, those men that stands in the gap, going out there, Lord Jesus, to minister, Lord, to this sinful and dying generation. Father, Lord, we are, we are busy now with tent meetings, oh God, and you, you look at the condition of these neighborhoods, you look at the condition of the people, Father. Lord, we're looking at the end time signs. It has become very difficult, Lord, to stand on your word. And that's why we've seen many, many ministers has turned away from the truth, Lord. Lord, just to make sure that they can make ends meet. Father, we are not willing to turn around. We are not willing to change anything. We are not willing to compromise, Father. And we're willing to stand. And Father, even, Lord, even if we have just a black cup of coffee and some peanut butter bread, that's enough to go on and minister the gospel and win a soul for the Almighty God. Father, I pray for your servants. I pray for their wives this morning. Oh, dear Lord, these women are standing. They are nervous, Almighty God. Sometimes our wives, Lord, they are so nervous. Father, we pray this morning that you, Lord, heal those women. Father, they are so patient, Lord. They are waiting patiently, Lord Jesus. Some of them don't even have a second dress. Lord, some of them even don't have a proper kitchen or a proper fridge or a stove. But Lord, they continue patiently, Lord Jesus. And this morning I pray, O oh God, that Lord, may you come true for them. We pray for their children, Lord. They, it's not easy for a minister's children, Father. Lord, they're always in the limelight. People are watching their moves. People are watching how they live. They make many mistakes sometimes. We pray, O oh God, cover them all under the care and the blood of Jesus Christ. This morning, Father, I pray. Be with your servants, be with their families, be with their wives, be with their children, Father. Lord, thank you that you are providing for each one of us. You're always taking care, Lord. Father, and you help us to be content. You help us to remain faithful in the call that you have called us into, Father. Until you come, you help us to work until you come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for providing. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Oh, Jesus, help us this morning. Oh, I felt so burdened, brothers and sisters. Just excuse me. I really just wanted the prayer warriors, everyone to pray. Things are getting tough out there. It's not so easy. Let me say this to you this morning. It's not easy in this very day that we are living in, to be a minister of the gospel. Many has compromised, many have turned their backs, many has become pastors because they, they don't, missionary work has become so hard. It's, it's living by faith, it's living by day by day. But may God help us, the few that still left, that they would continue preaching out there and warning a soul for the Almighty God. Let's continue before we conclude. I want us to continue this morning. Now he has brought us out. He has brought us out. Can somebody say he has brought us out? Tell somebody around you this morning. Die Jere het me opgelig. Oh Jesus. Is dit die wonderlijke dierbares? Praise the name van die Heere. Isn't it wonderful this morning? Hallelujah. Don't you feel better this morning? Just tell somebody this morning next to you. Jesus, he brought me out of a muddy clay. He planted my feet on a solid rock. Hallelujah. 
He has established my ways. He has established my walk. He knows my path. He has already made a way for me. And this is what happens. After he has lifted you up. Now that you fool is up, brothers and sisters. Listen to this. Listen to verse 3. Now you've been brought up. Your feet is on a rock. Your ways has been established. I want you to listen to the few verses. And he had put a new song in my mouth. Oh God. And he had a new lead in my mind. Oh God, help us this morning. It's so difficult. I want to just say that. It's so difficult to sing when you are in a muddy condition. Sometimes it's so difficult to sing when you find yourself slipping and sliding and trying to get out of the mud. Oh, oh God help us. Now that he has brought you out. Now that the year you are opgelicht, brothers and sisters. Now that the year you are standing here for others. Hoor wat sê die Bijbel. Hy sê, en hy het een nieuwe lied in my mond gegee. Oh, isn't it wonderful? And he has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. The song that God has placed within your mouth is a song that will make others fear and they will run to the cross. Oh God, help us this morning. Isn't His word wonderful? Terwijl jou pad is, jy is bezig om te bestuur, my broer. Ek weet, jy word opgewonde, maar hou maar net jou oop die pad vir oog en prijs die naam van die Heere. Hallelujah, I know you're excited because God has put a new song in your mouth and the song that you have placed within your mouth has brought fear around your neighborhood has brought fear around your community and the Bible says and they have run praise the name to the Lord unto my God hallelujah I like this verse let me get to the Bible where's my verse let me get to the Bible here oh my the Bible why the papira why and this is what the Bible says the song that has placed even the praise unto God many shall see it and fear and shall rot and trust in the Lord they shall trust in the Lord praise the naam van die Heer the Bible says here a love song to the ear of our God by a soul that sin and frees and of the Heer vertrouw the worship, the praise, oh my, that God has placed within your mouth. Now you have been lifted up. You have been lifted up from that muddy clay. On Monday morning, you found yourself in a muddy clay. It's Wednesday morning, and you are finding yourselves standing on a rock, worshiping the Almighty God, worshiping the Son of God, Hallelujah. You're worshiping so much in your office, all over. People wonder what is happening. What is all this about? Hallelujah. Why is that God has done something? God has placed what in your mouth, a new song. And that song has brought fear upon the people. But not a fear to run away, but a fear, hallelujah, to find their way back to the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Nie jou vrees. Hulle het nie gehaard loop. Hallelujah. En geding is dit nou gees of tokkelos. Of wat is nou die nie? Nie. Dit was nie jou vrees. Van moord of 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 slaan nie. Maar dit was een vrees wat hulle tot orde geroep het. It was not a fear of war. But it was a fear that called them to order. Back to the word. Back to Christ. He has lifted you up and now you are praising Him and giving Him all the glory. And the glory that you're giving Him now is bringing in more souls into the kingdom of God. Oh my, He lift me up from the deep muddy clay. Oh, He plant my feet on a rock to stay. Isn't it wonderful, brothers and sisters? 
Don't you want to shout this morning? Don't you want to dance in the spirit this morning? Don't you feel, hallelujah, that the Holy Ghost is all over you this morning? Don't you feel that the angel of the Lord is all over you? You have been lifted up, hallelujah, out of the muddy clay. He has placed you onto a solid rock. And on top of that, he has given a new song into your mouth. And on top of that song, the song that he has given you, hallelujah, has caused a fear upon the people. And those people are running towards Christ. Oh God, help us this morning, Father. I pray in Jesus' name. Lord, I want to just thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Father, we make so many mistakes. We fail you so many times. But this morning, I want to thank you. I want to appreciate you, Lord. I want to thank you for everything that you've been doing for us. Lord, you took us from out of the muddy clay. You placed us on a rock. Lord, and you've given us a new song. And Father, that song gave, that song, Lord, changed into praises. And that praises became, Lord, such a testimony that many other people was running towards Christ. Father, we are complete now. We want to just worship you and appreciate you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen.